Yo, what is up? Michael Eckert here. Today I got a sweet challenge for y'all and I'm gonna hop right into it because I don't wanna waste your time. Uh, it's gonna be a dead hang challenge and a dead hang is where you just hang onto the bar, feet are off the ground and you're just hanging there by your hands, okay? It's the only thing supporting you. It's a great way to train your grip strength, uh, challenge yourself, get quantifiable data so you can compare your results from now and then like two weeks from now. But with that, I'll just explain what it is. So all you're gonna be doing is you're gonna hang onto the bar, doing a dead hang. And we're gonna do it in increments of 10 seconds, okay? So what I mean by that is I'm gonna hang on the bar for 10 seconds. I'm gonna get off the bar for 10 seconds. The next time I get on the bar, I'm gonna hang for 20 seconds. Then I'm gonna get off the bar for 20 seconds. And I'm gonna repeat this process until I get, can get as far as I can with a full dead hang, okay? So let's say, I mean, my, my best so far has been up to 60 seconds. And so if I get to 60 seconds, I made it to the 60 second mark. And then you rest for 60 seconds and you try to get to the 110 mark. But uh, we'll call them levels or something like that. But really it's just, I, I was able to hang for a straight 60 seconds after hanging for those increments of 10 all the way up to 60 seconds. And then I wasn't able to go further. Or um, if you could do like a minute 30, that's insane. Okay, because that's my goal is to get up to a minute 30. Because really you've hung for a minute 10 or a minute, a minute 10, a minute 20, and then you got to minute 30. Plus you did 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So that's a long time. And that's mad grip strength, mad grip stamina, and really it becomes like a pain tolerance at a certain point. Um, with that, I'm gonna show you an example of what it looks like. I got my stop, or stop clock here. Uh, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it, and I'm gonna hang on to the bar, and then I'm gonna get off the bar, hang on the bar, off the bar, hang on. And it's just a challenge. It's just a way to challenge yourself. It's a little bit of, uh, complexity to a simple dead hang and uh, it's making it a lot more interesting. So check this out. Ready? We'll see what I can get. I'm going to kind of cheat just a little bit here. So ready? Three, two, one. All right. So the first one's pretty easy. 10 seconds. No big deal. We we'll rest for 10 seconds. So our rest is shorter. Then we hop on the bar for 20 seconds. So you gotta do a little bit of math, which uh, I'm okay at. So keep going, keep going, keep going. This time we're, we're on the bar for 20 seconds. So we stop at the 40 mark. And then we rest for 20 seconds. So we start the minute. And we'll go for 30. And with your dead hangs, uh, you can either wrap your thumb over. I like to do it in the most comfortable grip possible because you're obviously hanging there and you want, the last thing you want is to feel discomfort in your hands more so than you already do. <laughs> so we're going for 30. And I'd be lying if I wasn't burning already, but that's the point. And you can use chalk. Uh, this is a very slick bar, so I should probably be using chalk. But I wouldn't use gloves because gloves kind of create more friction than you need. And you really want this to be the most primal sort of exercise that you can. So that's 30 seconds, so we get a 30 second break. Uh, if you guys like these videos, please like and subscribe them. It's a great way to, <laughs> great part to add that in there. Uh, in our downtime, but uh, I really like I really appreciate you guys showing up and watching these videos It means a lot to me because it takes a while to make them so It's all about getting stronger so This one's 40 seconds. This one's gonna suck Whew. And pretty much all of my Top videos have been copyright claimed, so I can't make any monetization off of them. So I'm still learning how to YouTube, but you know, what it means the most to me is the feedback I get from y'all. And uh, All right, so we rest for 40 seconds. The next one's 50 seconds, and I'm already really feeling it. So we'll see what we can get to. Yep, 
Yeah, so we go at the 20 mark, is that right? Yeah. Go at the 20 mark. I hope my math is right. I feel really dumb right now. We're going for 50 seconds now. And you have to kind of like train your brain to not think about anything. Because if you think about the pain, it really sucks. We stop at the 110 mark, or the 10 mark, 10 second. Whew, man. Whew. Okay. Whew. So that was 50 seconds. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You start to feel horrible okay and we'll see what i can get to you i can already tell like this next one's gonna be a doozy so i'm gonna grab onto this and stop my time at some certain point um i'll explain why i, I developed this challenge uh, as an at-home thing you can do because uh, i ran into an event while i was in nashville that i failed at and it really kind of like it irked me because I'm supposed to have a really strong grip strength. And uh, I couldn't do the challenge, I failed. So, right after this, right a minute. Oh man, I'm so pumped. So I haven't done anything prior to this, just so you know. I'm using that as an excuse to, as to why I could not get to the minute mark. But uh, usually I'll combine this as like the last thing I do when my forearms are nice and warmed up. Um, this was the first thing I did. I just wanted to show you all a little bit about the challenge, the dead hang challenge. Um, what, why it came about was uh, I was up in Nashville and they had this uh, outside of one of the bars there. They had a, a bar that you could hang on that was on bearings. So the bar was able to free spin. So if I just spun it, it would keep spinning. And, uh, and then the challenge was to hang on that bar for 120 seconds and you would earn $100. I wasn't really concerned about the money, but I wanted to do the challenge because that's kind of my nature. And I hung on this bar and at first it feels great. But then as you get, I got to about 100 seconds and then fell. Um, what happens is you're not able to use any of the friction in your hand, okay? Because when you use friction on a bar that's static, it, your skin can grab onto it and kind of you can kind of use the uh, friction in your skin to hang a little bit longer and take a little bit of the pressure off your forearms. On that bearing bar, it's literally just muscle fatigue. You hold on as long as you can. As soon as your wrists start to turn, your hands open up and you fall. Like I had no recovery time. As soon as my hand opened up, I just came off. And uh, it really sucked because I did it in front of a huge audience. I got the best time overall, but which means nobody did it, but I wanna go back uh, in a few months and uh, go crush that record. That's the reason I've been doing this. It's the reason I challenge you to do it because uh, one, grip strength is the, the most, besides your core, okay, they're, uh, they're equally on par in my opinion. Your core and grip strength are two of the most fundamental things you can build to create a good foundation for the rest of your body. Uh, and with that, like I said before, if you guys like this video, like and subscribe, please, uh, because it really means a lot to me that you are all showing up to this and inspiring other people to do it. Uh, in the comments, try this thing. Post your times. And uh, if you guys post like a minute 30, like I did a minute 30, I want freaking proof of that because I don't believe that bullshit. Because that's a long time. You just saw me fail at 60 seconds. So, But anyway, with that, y'all have a great rest of your day, and uh, I'll keep these challenges coming for you.